Archaeological evidence of humans and their ancestors stretches back at least four million years. The fossil evidence indicates that the birthplace of humankind was Africa, where one of the richest areas of archaeological discovery is the Olduvai Gorge in northern Tanzania. The earliest of these, Australopithecus aparensis, comes from eastern Africa and dates from 4 million to 2.5 million years ago. A three-foot-tall adult female aparensis skeleton, who became known as Lucy, was discovered by Donald Johansson and his colleagues in Ethiopia in the mid-1970s. Lucy's bone structure proved that she could walk upright, but her feet were curved, possibly for climbing trees. Australopithecine skulls are decidedly ape-like, with heavy brow ridges, large teeth, projecting jaws, and a small brain. The earliest hominid recognized as Homo is the African toolmaker Homo habilis, who lived one and a half million years ago. Between the Australopithecine and Homo habilis, brain size had begun to enlarge, and the large ape-like molars had begun to reduce. Homo erectus appeared in East Africa some 1.6 million years ago and was the first human type to spread out of Africa, finally reaching Asia. The brain of erectus is markedly larger than that of habilis. There is strong evidence that Homo erectus hunted elephants and used fire for cooking. Neanderthals, or Homo sapiens neanderthalensis, lived in Europe and Asia between 150,000 and 32,000 years ago. Some Neanderthals may have believed in the spiritual life as they buried their dead with implements and food. The skulls of Neanderthal, with the characteristic heavy brow ridges, were larger and loftier than those of Homo erectus. Modern humans, or Homo sapiens sapiens, colonized the globe between 200,000 and 4,500 years ago. Homo sapiens sapiens developed refined tools and a culture that included both painting and sculpture. It was these people who gave rise to the existing human populations of today.